Hi guys, Lee here from Trading College. On this video, we're gonna talk about how to time your entry into the cryptocurrency trades that you're doing. So um, I, I like to trade cryptocurrencies. I'm just like you guys uh, here at Trading College, placing trades, looking for longer term growth in these crypto coins. But I'm hearing a lot of the time that um, people are losing money, uh, not getting into trades at the right time. So this video is really all about timing your entry so you can make profit pretty quickly and not have to sit in a losing trade for possibly even months like we're seeing some people do in Bitcoin. Now, I'm a long-term holder of some of these coins, of course, just like you, but I also want to get into the trade and make money instantly if I can. I don't wanna to buy too late, I wanna buy early. So in this video, we're gonna dive into how I can help you, show you when to get into the trade, uh, the best time to get into the trade, uh, which is really simple to do, all right? So I'm gonna use, use a chart, of course, and I'm going to ditch the daily time frame. So over here, I'm gonna change that to a weekly chart, okay? Now I'm looking at uh, a uh, coin here, Solana, and we've had a move from 3117 uh, all the way up to 258, okay? So a very nice uh, move higher. Now, if you bought the market, or if it's just like any price here, if you bought right at the high, you know, back in September 2021, you're losing money. Okay, you're, yeah, but I know you're gonna say, well, I'm in it for the long term and I'm expecting it to go higher. That is fine, but I don't wanna sit through all this pain and looking at my brokerage account every day on, on my app thinking I'm losing in this trade. So what could you do? Now, the thing is, we wanna try and get these coins, of course, these moves early when nobody's interested because when the buyers start stepping in, then most of the time the trade is over. Okay, I know you, you're looking for long-term growth, 10 years or whatever and, and, and so on, I am as well. But wouldn't it be nice to get into these trades uh, and time these entries? Now, there's a chart, there's the weekly. Now I'm gonna use, obviously we've got our own um, systems here that we use, the green and reds and momentum and so on, but I'm gonna show you something a little bit different here. I'm gonna take, um, in fact, before I do, I'm just gonna show you what structure of a trend looks like. Um, so a structure of a trend goes in waves, up, down, up, down, up. We normally go up in five waves, okay? And what we're trying to find is the strongest wave, aren't we? So the strongest wave, as we go up, that's wave one. Let's say that's wave one. And we're looking for wave two pullback. As long as wave two doesn't go below the start of wave one, which it hasn't done, then the next wave could be the most profitable wave, the most strongest wave, which is a wave three. We pull back for wave four, okay? And then the final wave is five. So there's four, and then it's off the screen here into five. So guys, this is a great place to be wanting to enter this market. Nobody's interested in it. So what you do, you find a push higher, and then you get your fib, you take it from the start of that smooth higher, and you drag it all the way to the high. Let go, click it, all right? Now, what you want to find is you come down here and look at the fibs that you've got set up on your retracement tool in TradingView or whatever. You wanna look at 76.4%, because that is the fib number where wave twos often pull back to. And this is where it literally just, I could draw it a little bit tighter here. This is where it's pulled back to. So this is why I'm gonna start buying because the next move could be the way three impulsive move. So all you gotta do is when you see a, a coin that's down here after a big move like that, what a great place to start to buy it. Now, people would say, okay, well, where would I, you know, where's my risk on this? Your risk is underneath this swing low here. Now, I'm not going to be particularly put in, uh, I'm not trading on a leveraged account here for my coins. I'm just going to buy this and look for the growth over many, many years. But because it's a weekly time frame, this could develop nicely for weeks on end. So I'm going to say, right, I'm going to start buying around these zones here. Nobody's interested in this area. And then as it starts to push higher here, we're going to start to break out above this higher 259 and further up into this area, 
my entry was absolutely perfect. So if you find coins that are actually pulling back to this 76.4% Fib retracement, great place to buy because you're in position for a potential big move and plus nobody else is interested in it, only you and me, and so we can sell it as it goes into strength and pushes much higher. When it's the most uncomfortable time to place a trade, it's more like the best time to place a trade. What we don't want to be doing, as I go into show you Bitcoin here, what we don't want to be doing um, is buying Bitcoin when everybody else is. I know that if everybody else is, there is demand, but when you see a price like that, that's nearly, was it 72, 68, 70 zone? But look, the momentum indicators are diverging, okay, on the weekly chart. I wanna be buying this pullback here for the strength into wave three, wave four, final pullback, and that is wave five, okay? And then we get a great big one back to 76.4% again, and then we go off again to the upside. So look for just drawing, just get the tool, just get it here, okay? And literally jumped up weekly chart, look for the FIB retracement. Does it come in around that 76.4% FIB? It did right here. Beautiful move, that was the start of the profitable. Imagine buying it here as it's at that 76.4 before it takes off. It's gonna make you rich. If you've got a decent position size, it's going to make you a lot of money. It's worth doing, guys. And um, you know you know where you're wrong on the trade, but it gets you in nice and early, okay? Hope it helps, and uh, please make sure it's only education that we're doing here. And you're managing risk at all times, but look out for that 76.4% on those deep retracements. Bye-bye now.